there is somebody in this place that something has not moved for you for many years. This is the day God will remove that thing that has been hindering your movement in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I, I, I will let God speak, you know, sometimes, you know, words are not enough to, uh, to justify what it is God wants to do. But this weekend has been nothing short of phenomenal. I mean, uh, uh, we've had, this will be our fifth service. The first service in North London was streamed live here. Um, Apostle Larome ministered and then I mean, uh, preached his message and began to minister. We had even forgotten that there were people here. I was, I was just, my wife was saying that people were slain here. This is, yes, this is. So, when, yeah, that, <laughs> that stuff was happening here. Then the people that came from the 11 o'clock service at North London just came and they said, Why are you amazing here? People we have been slain there. That in fact, when you give the word of property here, the, the, our property guru, who was pastor, was, was slain there. You know, so you know, when people are fighting for where to sit and whatever, it doesn't matter where you are. I, you remember I said that? It doesn't matter. The person who says he wanted to see Apostle uh, Selman at the dish shop in North London, he showed up there. The Spirit of God showed up there. And so I, I am confident that uh, today you are in for an explosion. Amen. You know, I said in the first service, I, I won't spend a lot of time. I have not seen this kind of phenomenon in 28 years of ministry. The kind of thing that we are seeing today is the kind of thing that you, we only pray about. Yeah. You know, God gave me a word, two words actually, at the beginning of the year, that for us as a church, this is the year of emergence. I thought it would come in a different way. But by March, we have emerged. Amen. And we're emerging. Amen. He also told me that this is going to be a season of suddenlies. Amen. And what I am seeing here happen in this weekend is a real suddenly. I believe God is going to give somebody here a net breaking catch. Amen. What is happening to this church? Yeah, it's, 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 it's prophecy in fulfillment. Where he says that, I mean, Malachi, I know some of you don't like to hear that. He says, when you bring your tithes and offerings, that's not my point of uh, emphasis. But I want to tell you about the benefit. Where he says, he says, will he not pour you out such blessing that there will not be room enough? There's no service we've had at this conference that there's been enough room. And I am praying that the same grace that has come upon this church will come upon your house. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the man who's about to come and take the uh, pulpit right now is, you know, people do all sorts of things for popularity. People would st stand half naked, take a photograph and put it on Instagram to get followers. But there are some people who God makes. Hello. Somebody put it this way, you pay for advertisement, but, you, uh, that, but God, God uh, let, let me put it right now. <laughs> you pay for advertisement, but you, you pray for PR. Why? Because it is God that does your public relations for you. Does that make sense? And, and this is someone, you know, it just, it just confounds all uh, management principles. Yeah, when you, when you look at where his ministry is and all of the, his area and, you know, uh, doesn't have any, uh, what do they call it, paraphernalia of uh, what, and just, has just become, in a sense, a global phenomenon. Why? Because by the grace of God, he's paid the price in the secret place. You know, I don't want to take any more time, but can you please join me as we give Apostle Joshua Selman. A London welcome again. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, when we stand and they see us, they say many things about us. But there is nothing that a man can receive if it is not given from you. 
You are the wisdom behind everything that is enviable in our lives. We are not ashamed to let the nations know that we are only reflectors of your glory. And whilst we receive their applause with gratitude, we remain ushers pointing them to his majesty. Lord, I ask again that you will heal, you will deliver, you will bless. Let it be profitable, O oh God, that we came to your presence. Let no one leave untouched. Let no one leave the same. Let the Liberty Church step into new dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Whilst you're standing in one minute, just cry to the Lord. Ask him for a visitation. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is praying. All of the overflows, pray. Unto you that answer prayer shall all flesh come. Someone praying is revealing his love, is revealing his grace. Hallelujah. This conference, among many things, is proof of how far God intends to reach to make sure your life becomes a reflection of his glory. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in what he can do. In the name of Jesus, I believe it. We're going to sit down shortly, but the power of God is coming on two people now as I'm speaking. I just saw like an open heavens just give me a little volume you see many times when the spirit of god begins to move to touch people like this it is because he he is moving to honor the name of jesus this is why he does the things that he does are we together now two people Two people. Majesty. Majesty. Jesus. Kali Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty hand, but a life in your hand. Sing majesty, yeah. majesty, majesty, forever I am changed by your love. There is such, listen, take it higher. There is such, I don't know what is happening in this service, but there is such a strong anointing of the Holy Spirit. It says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jesus. Listen, hear me, people of God. You are immersed under a strong unction. It doesn't matter where you are watching from. It doesn't matter which of the overflows. We're going to sit down shortly, but sometimes we need to allow the Holy Spirit to just have that convocation. He's just walking through your life, changing things from the front to the back, the left to the right. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, all the overflows, those watching from whatever nation, the Spirit of the living God, The spirit of the living God taking us to higher dimensions. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. It says. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is. That means you can know where the spirit of the Lord is. 
why because there will be liberty this is called the liberty church so you know there is an attestation no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't tear down lie you won't tear down coming Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated if you can. And just be sensitive because while I teach the spirit of the living God, the spirit of the living God is going to be giving us visitations. You came for a conference. It is important that believers encounter the power and the glory and the grace of God because you call it a shift. And a shift does not just happen because you desire one. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1, he asked me to stand and I did not have the strength. Verse 2 says, and the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet. This is what you get in church. This is what you get in the house of God. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. That's how far you can reach for me. There's no wall you won't kick down. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found. Come on, London, lift your voice. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Please be seated. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Shalibra to Scalibra. Now listen, while I teach, I sense in my spirit that more than just enlightenment, there is a grace that is going to be lifting people. Listen, please, I want you to find a way of believing that this is true. God, by this word, you see, the word of God can be spoken and the word of God can be sent. When the word of God is sent, it is a messenger like a tray. There is something it is carrying on it. It carries the possibilities of the Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling me to speak to someone. He says, remember not the former things. Listen. As I'm talking to you, the power of God will come upon those people. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are coming to the end of that season. That season of shame. Help them, please. That season of reproach. Hear me, I'm speaking to you by the rod of a higher priesthood. That you are coming to the end of that season. You are coming to the end of that season. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Jesus. I don't know how this service will turn now. The hunger of a man can touch the heart of God. When people are hungry and desperate... 
there has to be a desperation in the heart of men you must desire god in a way and a manner that nothing else can take your place to feel the warmth of your embrace that's the kind of hunger that calls his presence help me find a way will you bring me Oh, 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 you're all I want. Let that be your prayer, London. Hey. sit down. Isaiah 60 and verse 1 says, arise. It was not a suggestion. Arise, he says. Shine. For your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amplified says, arise from the depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. Hallelujah. Arise. Because your light is come. The last service for those of you who were not around. Let me just do a quick recap. We were discussing that the glory of God. Please listen carefully. The glory of God is revealed as a confirmation that his patterns have been honored. God is a God of patterns. That means that when you walk with God. Please listen. When you walk with God, you are not at liberty to invent your strategy. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16, that you stand in the way and you search for the ancient part. It says when you find it, walk therein and you will find rest for your soul. Creativity is not required when you are walking with God. It is when you are manifesting the power of God. Kingdom legislature. That is when you will need creativity. The assignment is follow me and I will make you. Follow me. There is a predefined methodology. Please look at me. The kingdom of God operates on exact systems. God is a God of systems. And God is a God of patterns. Cain and Abel are about to offer sacrifices and then Cain offers his own sacrifice and it does not touch the heart of God. And Abel offers his sacrifice and Cain is angry. And then God speaking, paraphrasing, said if you followed patterns, it would be received. That means there is a pattern that controls wealth and abundance. There is a pattern that controls speed. There is a pattern that controls intimacy with God. God does not. God loves everybody, but he will not reveal himself to everybody. No. His presence is priceless and there is a condition. He says, he that obeys my command, he it is that loves me. And I will love him and the father will love him. And we will come and manifest ourselves to him. John 14, 21. So you can be born again. You can be a child of God and never be able to host certain superior dimensions of his presence. Because not everything in this kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. If everything were a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Conditions. Deuteronomy chapter 1 says, It shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, then, 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 you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth, he says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this is very important for us to understand that as we desire to see the manifestation of the glory of God across different dimensions of our lives, we must hunger for the knowledge of his ways. And prophet Micah 
taught us that it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted, established above all other mountains. And then he says that the nations will flow to it. They will tell themselves, come, let us go to the house of the Lord, to the God of Jacob. He says, and he will teach us his ways. The secrets of God are hidden in his ways. The Bible says in, I think, Habakkuk chapter 3 or so, it says that God descends from Mount Teman. And then it says that the light that proceeds from his hand, Amplified says, in that light is the hiding place of his power. The power of God has a location. It hides in his light. So wherever the light of God is made manifest, his power also follows. The power of God is where the word of God is. Hmm. Is God blessing someone already? And so it means that if you are growing spiritually, captured in your experience must be an introduction of new dimensions of God, dimensions of his ways. Just because an information is spiritual and true does not mean it will bless you. You have to understand this. Truth must be sequentially arranged. I give you an instance. There is something that if you do not know before you learn about prosperity, it will destroy you. So it's not enough to just have random truth. No, they must be sequentially arranged. This beautiful structure is sequentially arranged. Are we together now? There is a foundation. The superstructure is lifted. There, it is the sequence that brings value to the building. Just because you have all the raw materials there does not mean you have a building. A chef can have all the ingredients for a meal, but it does not mean he has the meal. The chef is a chef because of his uncanny mastery. The ability to combine the ingredients with precision to produce predictable outcomes. So the Lord is bringing us to this point so that he will take away shadow boxing and guessing from our lives. So that we are no longer in the dark. We can predict things. I can know I will rise. I can know I will live long. I can know that no arrow that flies by day or night can touch me. I'm not hoping. He says, for I know whom I have believed. Listen, let me tell you. It is not, um, realities in the kingdom should not only be believed. There is an experience. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. Not only know. You can taste, there is an experience to it, that your life becomes a living epistle, an effulgence of the possibilities of God. So that when you open the Bible, even when it is closed, it is still opened. You are now a continuation of what was written. So if I did not have my devotion in the morning, I don't feel bad when I see you. Now I can read scriptures through your life. You become a continuation of my devotion as I watch your life. Are we blessed? Jesus was teaching the disciples. He was introducing them to the kingdom. The kingdom talks about the governing influence of a king over a predefined territory. And remember in what we call the Lord's Prayer, when he was teaching, he said that we ask the Father to allow the kingdom to come. Thy kingdom come. How? By your will being done. So everywhere his will is being done, the kingdom comes. Are we blessed? Yeah. But that in establishing his kingdom, and rising from one level to the other, we will need to understand that we excel in this kingdom by light. Please say light. light. Spiritual illumination. This is very important. Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And you must understand theologically speaking, it is believed that his epistle in Ephesus, his ministry in Ephesus was the apex of his apostolic ministry. Because at that time, Ephesus was a center of commerce, just like London. It was the financial hub of the then world. Are we together? And they were 
they were a people who were very enlightened. They were not naive. They were not ignorant people. And they were under the leadership of a goddess called Diana. And so he was teaching them on the things of the kingdom. And then Paul prays a prayer in chapter 1, beginning from verse 15. For this cause I bow my knees, he says, to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Then he says, your heart being enlightened, amplified, says flooded with light, that you may know. The word know there is not awareness. It is the same word as being used a man knowing his wife. Fellowship with the mystery. Dominion, therefore, is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, Jesus was teaching and he said, It has been given to you. It has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. These are the secrets of the kingdom by which we reign. Listen, the saints were designed to rise and to manifest the power, the life, the glory, the grace of God on the strength of a body of knowledge that the Bible calls mysteries. Are we together? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet was speaking by the spirit and he began to lament and he said, my people, although they are my people, the Bible says they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He says, because you have rejected knowledge, you will no longer be priest unto me. You cannot represent me because you do not have the requisite level of spiritual understanding to defend my interest. Hallelujah. And so we need to be equipped. We need to be equipped with the requisite level of spiritual knowledge. And the Bible says, I commend you to God. Apostle Paul is speaking mentoring the church in acts of the apostles i commend you to god he says and to the word of his grace he says which is able to build you up number one number two to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified then he says and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture he says which is able to make you wise unto salvation Ephesians 4.18, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. You must fight ignorance like cancer. It destroys. It can keep you in the dark. Are we together? So we rise in this kingdom by light. It takes more than desire to rise. Please listen to me. It takes more than desire to capture the possibilities of the kingdom in your life. It will take more than a willing heart. It will take more than sincerity. The only dimension of growth that is natural is biological. Every other kind is engaged. Intellectual, engaged. Spiritual, engaged. Even a madman grows biologically speaking but if your intellect must grow you must engage it if your spirit man must grow you must engage it so we're gathered this afternoon within the time we have to share together this is a feast of light and it's important for you to understand that the things you are learning are not opinions it's dangerous to teach opinions because they are subject to an individual's experience they are subject to an individual's paradigm but the truths that we communicate have been vetted by god's integrity and backed by his own jealousy are we blessed amen so we began to explore the keys of the kingdom. And I shared with us that the, the kingdom of God is a compendium of limitless possibilities. And that it is not enough to know the possibilities that are enshrined in this kingdom. We must understand the spiritual systems that activate their operation. Are we together? Yes. You can have an iPad. It is true that you have a device that is capable of doing amazing things. Are we together? But having the requisite knowledge to operate it and maximize its use. 
Ephesians tells us that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places and that that is routed through the office of the Christ. This is my definition of grace. Every good and perfect gift that comes from above routed through the office of the Christ to the saints. But it's not enough that these provisions are there. We access them by light. Hallelujah. So the laws of the kingdom become our weapons for victory in this, in this domain of God's kingdom. You are vulnerable. You are limited. And sincerely speaking, you will fail. Fail in episodes until you have the requisite level of light. There are two reasons why Jesus cried in the Bible. The first reason why he cried was uh, when he stood before the grave of Lazarus. Remember? He wept, John eleven thirty five, 35. And they said, oh, how he loved him. The second reason why he cried was when he stood before Jerusalem. And the Bible says he wept and said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. If you had known, even in this your day, the things that pertain to your peace, but now they are hid from your eyes. But the Lord wants our eyes to be open, to give us new vistas. Remember that when the Spirit is poured on high, we will see visions. Not just revelations, but access to the mysteries of the kingdom. The last service I taught on the first mystery, a mystery is a body of knowledge that is privy to a group of people. Are we together now? And I spoke about the mystery of prayer. Everybody please say prayer. Prayer is very powerful. It sustains the ability to go beyond your present environment. The only thing you can send to your future is your prayer. It can go and wait for you. Your prayer can become your protocol. It waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow. It checks that tomorrow is ready for you. And it, if, if it finds anything in your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of God in your life. It can deal with it while it waits for you with honor to come. Prayer is powerful. A weak man plus prayer is a warrior. A limited man plus prayer. Prayer makes anything um, good Bible study plus prayer will bring you the spirit of revelation. Business savvy plus prayer will bring you one whose wealth will remain a mystery to many. Prayer is an amplifier. It does not reduce. He spake a parable, the Bible says, Luke 18 and verse 1, to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. An attack on your prayer life is a real attack. You must guard your prayer life more than you guard jewelries. You must guard your prayer life. You have a garage for your car. Well done, I commend you. You have a beautiful wardrobe for your clothes. Well done, I commend you. Show me where you protect your prayer life. Jealously. There must be space as proof of the value you place on it. Are we together? Amen and amen. Prayer is powerful. It makes weak people strong. Prayer transforms you like a snake molting. You can molt into a new version of you. That the fearful you can become the warrior you. That the weak you can become the strong you. That the, the, the limited you can be the unlimited you. And the bridge is prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. I obtain the grace to pray. Once you are a man, you are mandated by scripture to pray. Fathers, pray. Mothers, pray. Business people, pray. London, pray. The only thing that was attacked in Babylon was prayer. The prayer of Daniel frustrated the spirits, the territorial powers that operated around the second heavens and did not allow the counsel of darkness to prevail. And a whole parliament came together, respectfully speaking, to address one issue in a man's life. And they said, don't pray for 30 days. That's it. Imagine what happens in your life when you do not pray for 30 days. 
I did say in the last service that prayer is the highest proof of humility. It's proof that you acknowledge that outside of the help of God, you are nothing. And remember, the strength of God does not find strength. When it finds strength, it goes back. The strength of God looks for the acknowledgement of weakness. He told Apostle Paul that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When the strength of God comes and finds strength, it goes back. It is not needed until it finds an acknowledgement. I need you, oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. Come bless me now, my Savior. Please let me have four or four or five gentlemen. I just want to illustrate something very quickly. Please come. Just stand facing me here. Thank you. Watch this. Yes, this way. Now watch this. All of these men, let them represent dimensions of spiritual possibilities. Let this man represent speed. Let this man represent prosperity. Let this man represent spiritual exploits. Are we together? Let this man represent favor. Did you know that... Help him. Watch this. Just, just leave him. He has received his own. <laughs> Watch this. My, my prayer is that you will be so full of the spirit yes you will never be the same again sir never look look listen listen look the wonder of God's power in a moment a twinkling of an eye 10 years in one day that's it now watch this i was trying to illustrate something help him i told you to be, just be sensitive the power of god will continue to touch people do you know why listen 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 i'm praying that you will learn all these things are not just to show that men are powerful we are men i'm a man i get hungry i eat are we together now but the Lord demonstrates this to show us the possibilities in the kingdom. I was not born this way. No. No man is born into his superior version. You grow into that version. That means you are a preacher here. Is to show you the possibilities that can be. Is to provoke you. To plant a holy jealousy in you. To challenge you. Transformation is difficult until there is a reference. So God continues to set up people to model a pattern that provokes transformation. Are we blessed? Now back to my illustration, please. That means that when you read your Bible, ah, there is an anointing. Someone at that balcony, the power of God has come on somebody. Bring them here. I just saw by the Spirit Carry them, bring them here. Halu salipra taziat has kabaruda siata. There is a mighty deliverance happening to that lady, her and her entire family. In the name of Jesus, I curse the workings of darkness. This is what the Bible means when it says, Now the Lord is that spirit. It's not a sermon, it's an experience. It says, Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Nobody has the power to make this happen. Only God knows how many years this lady's family has been bound. Oh, but Jesus. But Jesus. Oh, God. You are my God And I will ever praise you Oh God 
You are my God And I will ever serve you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever follow I will seek you in the morning And I have learned to walk in your ways Yes, your prophecy now Step by step You are leading me And I will follow you all of my days Listen now In the name of Jesus let it be over forever. Amen. Let every closed gate be opened. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now watch this. You can know that deliverance is true. You can know that healing is true. You can know that prosperity is true. But just knowing it does, does not mean it will be your experience. L listen. It is a frustrating thing for a believer to be aware of what can be in Christ. And yet your life cannot capture that reality. This is why many people usually will get frustrated and say, look, I'm tired of this thing. There is an experience to the kingdom. The things we have seen, he says, the things we have heard. It is dangerous to continue to accumulate spiritual knowledge and not capture their reality in your experience. The Bible says of such people ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. So a conference like this is an attempt to bring the experience of the kingdom in your life. When Moses met God, he did not need to tell the people he met God. There was an evidence on his face. Light. Light was the proof he met God. So whoever could not meet God should just meet Moses to have the same experience. He came with light. So when you go back home after this service, it will be difficult for you to forget. You may not remember the scriptures, but you will never forget the experience. The Liberty Church where God gave me liberty. How could you forget? <laughs> Hallelujah. The next time you are bringing someone to church, the depth of persuasion will be based on your testimony. Evangelism is easy when you have proofs. When you have proofs. Now watch this. Please help pick someone's barrel. I may require speed in my life but if I do not understand the requisite spiritual principle ordained by God, there is a mystery that controls speed. If you do not have it, you can be born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, tongue talking, sincere but that experience will never be captured in you. Are we together now? But then at conferences like this, you will learn there is an exact body of truth that controls this outcome. Your finances are going down and you're saying, Lord, there's got to be a way. You are right. There is. But it is not a way that you just learn intellectually alone. The root of life is more than physical. It spans to the realm of the spirit. You must sustain an intelligence to draw reality from the realm of the spirit. And now this man is sincere. But everybody hates you. Bad things wait for you to come before they happen. No. There is an understanding that sponsors a climate that can change everything around your life. Please believe me. There is a grace that controls influence. Just because you have something to say does not mean people will listen to you. No. It takes more than oratory. It takes more than eloquence. There is a hear ye him anointing. If your business does not have it, it will not rise. Believe me. 
Many people with great information, great ideas, products that can go around Europe. But the grace is not there. The intelligence is there. The diligence is there. But they are not the only keys. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. The kingdom of God is akin, is, is likened to a house with many rooms. In every house there is a living room. Maybe multiple living rooms. There is a kitchen. There is the restroom. If you are hungry, you don't need the living room. You need to have the key to the kitchen. If you want to ease yourself, you will need the key to the conveniences. You are sleepy, you don't need a kitchen. You need the bedroom. So if you only have the key to the kitchen, when you are sleepy, you are in trouble. That key may not profit you. So he gave us keys. When you stand before a closed door, you should know what key opens it. When you stand before delay, you should know what key. Are we together? Now, that is authority. That is dominion. When we say men are graced, this is what we mean. By the sacrifice of alignment, by the sacrifice of learning the ways of God, they have been heavy on the strength. Okay, well, you don't hold my hands, you say, but then hold whatever you can. I'm not afraid. Come on, hold anything. Now, watch this. Now, when you say a man is heavy and anointed, it is because he is carrying a, a luggage of mysteries. When he stands before delay, there is a mystery that, answer, that answers it. When he stands before spiritual retrogression, he has learned a mystery of sustainable fire. Fire that does not go down. So after 10 years in ministry, that person remains standing. By what mystery does he continue? He said, by my God, I can leap over a wall. Daniel 11 and verse 32, it says, But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong, capacity, and they shall do exploits. You can be a man of God, for instance, maybe scattered across the crowd, a pastor somewhere. You can be sincere, called by God. But you will find out that there are no testimonies in your life and ministry. You know why? Because the anointing is like currency. Just because you have um, um, 50 pounds, you cannot buy a car with 50 pounds. But it is money. So you will need multiples of that to the level that can purchase that reality. Everything is bought in the realm of the spirit. You must be rich unto God to sustain that spiritual currency. Challenges are not generic. They are relative to the grace that confronts them. Are we together? So, follow me, guys. This is someone walking. You are carrying graces, possibilities. You come to a door that has been closed for many years and suddenly you walk through it as though it was not locked because something you know I'm showing you what you are becoming through this conference. This is what is happening to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Believe me, this is no entertainment. It's a revelation of what is happening to you. Did the Bible not say, but we all with faces unveiled. It says, as we behold him as in a mirror, we are changed like a snake molting please sit thank you thank you so prayer is one of the mysteries can i share with you one more our time is gone so we just deal with one more blessed be the name of the lord <sighs> all right thank you <laughs> blessed be the name of the Lord the second mystery that I want to teach you very quickly is called the ministry of men write it down I want to show you the principles by which the saints reign prayer is powerful 
But I need to show you that men are very important in the equation uh, as far as the victory and the lifting of men is concerned. Luke chapter 2, please, and verse 52. If it's projected, I want us to read it. The Bible says, and Jesus increased. Jesus, your model, Jesus increased in wisdom. Help me, London. And stature and favor with God. And it's interesting that Jesus saw the value of man. You know, we live in a world where in an attempt to show the all-surpassing power of God, we ignore men. It doesn't matter. Once God is for you, that's all. You are right, but in this context, you are wrong. The Bible says, the heaven of heavens. Are we students of scripture? The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. It says, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. That means that between the level, standing between the level you are and the level you need to be, a man must show up in your life. The word of God kept hovering around the heavens, unable to come to the earth, until a man, woman now, Mary, donated her womb to allow the word to become flesh. The body of Jesus is hanging on that cross and no angel could bring it down except a man who asked for permission called Joseph of Arimathea and said, grant me access to bring that body down. Let me tell you, when you ignore men, you will pay the price with your lifetime. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. A king hates a woman and she stops being queen immediately. Then he sees this young girl called Hadassah from Shushan. And suddenly she becomes queen. This is the world of men. Find a way to convince yourself. The Bible says when it has to do with living in the cosmos. Be wise as serpents. That means a serpent in scripture is not a good reptile. But as far as dominion in the cosmos is concerned. It says borrow an intelligence from the operation of the serpent. You will need it for dominion. Hallelujah. There are times where you do not have access to the gates of destiny. But you will need someone who is already at the gate to speak for you and if the person at the gate cannot speak for you you will remain oh joseph although an interpreter of dreams you will remain in the dungeon until the king sends for you and when there is no wine presser you may interpret dreams but you will live in the prison i show you the mysteries of the kingdom All blessings come from God through men to men. Write it down. It looks like it came from God directly. But I show you a mystery. Your lifting will come from God through men to men. It's true that God wanted me to bless you. But without a man, your pastor, the angel over this house and his wife, literally... Listen, please do not ignore men. Men are very important. Men can help men to become like God. It's true. Watch this. Saul, pastor. God rejects Saul as king. David is in the wilderness having visions of the throne. And yet he does not leave the wilderness. Because one man, not an angel, one man called prophet Samuel refused to go and call him. A man's destiny is tied down. Although God had rejected Saul, but God could not move with David because one man. And you think God would bypass him and say, I am God. David, I'm God. Let's go. He said he had to come to Samuel. You say, Samuel, how long will you weep? 
seeing that I've rejected Saul as king, you are delaying someone's destiny. Carry the horn to the house of Jesse. Listen, the person to lift you in London is already here. Hold on. Listen, if you do not discern men, the psalmist said, what is man? I would paraphrase it as what is in man. Oh God, what did you hide in a man that men are not seeing? God hides his anointing in men. God hides his possibilities in men. Listen to me. It is true that God called you to a healing ministry, but that grace is hidden in a man. And if you ignore that man, you may not step into that ministry. It is true that God told you this year he would lift you, but that word is in a man. This is not human worship. No. He uses men to lift men. You must understand the ministry of men, dear brothers and sisters. Satan knows this. He does not look for animals. He does not look for trees. He looks for men. The moment he heard that the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent, he started searching for every man. The Lord confused him by that statement because women do not carry seeds. They only receive seeds. Are we together? Men are very important. Their endorsements can change your life. Most of the prayer we are praying, the answer is already in the hand of a man. It is within the power of certain gatekeepers. Please believe me. Somebody in this city has the power to see that this week you have a job. It's, it's not just in heaven. Listen, I'm telling you this. The property you seek is not going to come from another planet. It's in someone's account now. You see the power of the Holy Ghost touching people. It's not like it is now God wanted to touch them. Why does he start? Why didn't he touch them while you were singing your praise and worship? He was still here. Man. That means when you are ignoring a man, you are ignoring more than a body. You are ignoring your tomorrow. You are ignoring your next level. Listen very carefully. If I pray, Lord, lift me. The moment a man starts coming, the sun, the sun, forget about the persona, forget about the physical carriage, the sun in the spirit. Could this be the answer to my prayer? Do you not know that when God answers prayer, he sends men? Men are proof that he heard you. Listen, the real proof of favor is not money. The real proof of favor is men. If all you have is money, you are not very rich. Relationships are advantageous connections. You must understand the ministry of men. Life can be hard when you do not have men. In fact, the Bible says it is in the multitude of men that is the king's honor. A king's honor is not measured by the treasure in his palace. The proof of favor is the loyalty of men. Hallelujah. Watch this. The cosmos requires the ministry of men. I have, can I use, is it alright if I use some money? Now, I have, this is, this is 60 pounds. This man is praying, Lord change my life and his answer is in my pocket. Watch this. And while he's praying, he's going to be having visions. I have done it. That's how God speaks. Yes, and he's right because he has done it. But if you do not understand the mystery that is responsible for your delivery, you will keep having dreams and yet keep suffering. Keep having dreams. At a point, the devil will interface those dreams and say, God is lying to you. He is not lying. I'm showing you the mystery that is responsible for manifestation of spiritual realities. The ministry of man. Let me tell you, if God says yes and a man says no, it only remains yes in the realm of the spirit. In this realm, it will be no. Hmm. So,
so when you want to rise it is not important to have favor with God alone you must have favor with men if you have favor with God alone you will have encounters you can even go to heaven you can have strange experiences but believe me you will be broke you will suffer things will go bad to the point that you will not love that God again so you need favor Jesus you think that Jesus if he did not have favor with men he would ask someone to go and untie another man's donkey he said if they ask you say the master have need of it favor London is a good land but your portion will only come when the grace that connects men to men is upon you believe me there is a grace just because you move around the length and breadth of this beautiful region it does not mean you will be lifted it does not mean you will be blessed are we together now Mordecai remained at the gate even though he was helping the king because there was no man in the palace to speak for him the man in the palace hated him and the Jews and the man kept suffering but one day my God one day the king could not sleep that's God's part now and the chronicles were open the Bible says but a man he sent and said who is there and a man came he said what shall be done to this man God lifts men through men please listen to me it is true and my, my assignment I know that we may not have all the time but my assignment by the grace of God is to release a grace on you listen the grace that will compel men listen my dear people of God listen to me let me tell you this life is hard when no man shows up for you watch this the prophet speaks and says by this time tomorrow and yet nothing happened but four lepers the spirit of God comes upon four men and they say look why sit we here and die let us go men as soon as they began to move God multiplied them and their coming was like chariots of horses that means the grace that connects you to men is the grace that shifts you to a new level believe me when I tell you who likes you matters it does it does it does hallelujah praise the Lord two keys very quickly and then we pray to activate the ministry of men in your life because it will not just happen no helper of your destiny comes by default no number one the first key that activates the ministry of men in your life is honor 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 is the discerning honor is the celebrating honor is the rewarding if need be of men for their uniqueness the fortitude to discern the fortitude to celebrate the fortitude to if need be reward this gentleman is playing the keyboard if I cannot play it like him I must discern I must celebrate that is honor honor is the key that opens up the treasures locked up within men every door closes because of dishonor without exception dishonor to God dishonor to men dishonor to principles if a door opened yesterday and is now closed let me tell you what closed it it's not just spirits the spirits were authorized by your dishonor every door Apostle, yesterday, this man loved me so much and would help me and open doors for me in London. But right now, it looks as if the man does not even want to see me. I tell you what happened. Dishonor. Dishonor. 
you must learn to honor people when I met your precious man of God I honored him with all my heart and I still do and his wife for all of you who are gathered here in as much as I'm ministering to you I still honor you I honor you it's one thing to be called it's another thing to be anointed but it's another thing again for a generation to think you are that valuable and then to come and take the risk to listen to you and to open up their hearts to the grace upon your life that is honor yes thank you could it be that this may be why many of us have not been promoted honor the day you walk to your boss and say sir I came into London without a father or a mother when you saw me you saw my tomorrow I'm not in your office to seek for promotion I'm in your office with this token to tell you I celebrate you thank you for seeing my future for believing in me for investing in me that's all I came to say thank you you see this virtue is scarce that's why few people rise there are many of you here your loved ones scattered across this region and scattered across the regions of the world the ability to discern yes mother may not be educated yes mother may not even be able to speak English but mother carries a strange grace everything she told you happened why have you ignored her you can a simple phone call mother I just want you to know that I am grateful you told me that I would come to London and I know you never went to school but your word I respect God in God's investment upon your life listen do you know your miracle keeps passing you every day but dishonor closes the doors to their anointings it is possible and I say this respectfully you can be in this church for instance and I don't mean to insult your pedigree believe me I love you and I honor you with all my heart but if you see your man of God and his wife just as leaders they are just leaders over me congratulations you will get leadership but you may never receive the grace upon their lives Elijah told Elisha if you can see me was he not looking at him if you can discern what I represent if you know men only by the flesh you know for those of you who did I shared my story um, coming I was I've been very very busy I just had to come in I came in this morning and then I'm back again for another conference uh, my schedules are quite uh, busy quite honestly and as at yesterday night it was almost like I was I was not going to make it we had a conversation with pastor and um, I I left my luggage I came without that's why you see me looking funky and you see but behind listen your wife may be your miracle if you can see if all she is to you is your wife you will get a good meal you will get love but there may be a grace upon her the day you see her as touching that grace she can pray for you and your heavens will be open this is the thing about men that men do not know when I say men I regardless of gender the power of God is coming on you you will never be the same never be the same listen to me the person seated next to you may be an orchestration by god because the individual may carry the grace for speed just because you came to church it's not only the pastor or the man of god that has that grace they can say turn to your neighbor and say god bless you and you may resent the person because it does not carry a persona that is attractive and lose your miracle i show you the mystery that enthrones men it is not enough to know god you must also know men as far as dominion in the cosmos is concerned please listen to what i tell you i'm sharing with you a powerful secret my life is changed because I honor God and I honor men. I honor your nation. I honor your leaders. 
I honor your parliament. I honor the leaders. Political. Spiritual. I honor them. I will never stand in your nation and in your church to do anything at all that does not uh, um, represent the counsel of God. No, I come with a heart of honor. And when you come with honor, the gates open. It is a law. I'm not only preaching to you. I honor you. Your pastor, we had a little conversation with him and my God, I, I am touched by the depth of the love and the passion that this man of God and I believe his wife have for you. It's more than leadership. Believe me. Do you know, let me tell you this. One of the biggest secrets to the grace and the glory of God, and many of you have listened to my teachings, you don't even know what made you addicted to them. There is a grace. Watch this. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. This man standing before you is a lover of God and a lover of men. My name means the way to love. It is not only God I love. I love men. I really do. So it is easy for the anointing. It is easy to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. I love people. I will never look down on people. I love people sincerely. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter what you do not have. The love of God. So the power of God. God can invest his grace and glory. Because he knows you will not take people for granted. You can pray. You can fast. But if you do not believe in the ministry of men. You may never rise. You need to meet God. And you need to meet men. To be enthroned. Are we blessed? These are mysteries of the kingdom. I have met men and I encountered anointings. I met men and I encountered wisdom. I met men, I encountered insight. I met men and they opened up their scars of decades. And I learned in one day a man's pain of over a lifetime. Who have you ignored? Who have you ignored to prove you love God? It's imbalance. You must straighten it. It is important to love God and love men. There are men whose words are like the word of God. If they open their mouth, your destiny must open. Have you honored them enough? Are you getting blessed? Honor. Oh, the second key that activates the ministry of men and I will talk more on that tomorrow's session. Please do your best to not miss it. If you have to register, register. Whatever you have to do, just find out the details and make sure. Okay, whatever you have to do, just find out all of the details and make sure you are around. But listen to me. The ministry of the prophetic was given as a gift that connects possibilities to those who need them. The realm of the spirit carries is like how many of you um some of you here are into the media and many of you here know a lot about movies and acting isn't it now when you watch the raw videos there are lots of mistakes that happen is that true the 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 movie director the video editors right and the producers they come together to edit the scenes this is what prophecy does your life is like a page with many possibilities. The prophetic edits out everything that should not be. And then it can shift like playing a chess. Something that should have happened in your tomorrow. But because a spirit of delay was on you. Prophecy can shift it and make it happen this week. This is truth. Prophecy. The prophetic is powerful. The prophetic does not only reveal, it creates. That means it makes something that has no business happening to happen. Hallelujah. Grace. Who is grace? Grace. Come. Now, let me just... I'm prophesying to her, but I, I want to... You see, this is revelation. This is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. 
I don't know. I've, I, I've never seen this lady. I don't know her anywhere. But the Spirit of the Lord tells me grace. And this is grace out. It's, and it's not just, of course, grace is a general name. You, you understand? Most people bear grace. But believe me, this is not just calling out names by probability. No, no. No. Now, this is revelation. I can call her now and tell her and give her details. Here's another one coming. You see that? I can bless them. Now, the purpose of the revelatory dimension of prophecy, number one, is to strengthen your faith. It reveals to you that God knows so much about you so that you can now receive what would be said. Are we together now? But the most superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension. You see, for instance, help them. Please help them. Hold this, my dear. Hold this, my dear. Now, watch this. I'm giving them, I'm giving them some, some, some um, uh, pounds. They are lifting it up. Now, watch this. Assuming you came with this and you hid it, and I didn't know, and I say you're holding 20 pounds. That's revelation to encourage her. Are we together now? But when I look at you and say, in the name of Jesus, I speak over your week. Find favor. That means the creative dimension of prophecy will start looking for physical actors that must make that word come to pass. That means, listen, when the word comes, it starts moving all over London, finding this vessel is unwilling, it will leave. It must find enough vessels to act out that word until the word of God does not fail. So I can look at your business and say in the name of Jesus, let it rise. I'm not just telling you, let no. That statement will start searching for why your business has refused to rise and it will insist until it is corrected. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I called Grace. What do you do, my dear? Okay. I want to pray for you. The month of April is a month of breakthrough for you. Amen. <laughs> what, what, what is April to you? What is April? April is a powerful month for me. It's your birthday? Yes, 5th of April. I said the month of April, you see. So, this is revelation. Are you seeing now? But whether or not I know her name, I can say in the name of Jesus, I'm prophesying to you that April opens up. You see that now? And that's the end of it. And her destiny just opens up. Listen, this is not some human bragging. I hope you understand my motive. I'm not, this is, this is not some, I know that here and there we find people who, listen, God has sent us to not only minister, but to correct imbalances, to bring the body of Christ to the coordinates of balance. So just because here and there, there are imbalances in these things does not mean that you just close your heart. The prophetic is a powerful advantage to believers. When the prophetic is used within the coordinates of scripture it produces wonders in the lives of people hallelujah my dear i use this as a seed to you step into a realm of favor in the name of jesus christ god bless you thank you Majesty. that in a moment we are going to pray hallelujah God bless you. In the name of Jesus, I speak over her life. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Our time is gone. We're going to pray. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Waymaker, say, miracle walk, God makes key, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way maker say, Way maker, miracle work, promise keeper. Habaratosalanda kariyatarada. 
here. One more time. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here. Turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Oh, we make a say. I'm about to pray for you now. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. hallelujah now i want to pray please help me with this just a few minutes i want to declare by the power of the holy spirit listen the grace that is coming upon you now is a strange grace that will draw the ministry of men to your life we are empowered by the graces upon us listen it says thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over I know what is on your cup by looking at what is on your head. There is a grace that will draw possibilities to you. Right now, at the count of three, I'm stretching my hands. From the front to the back, all of the overflows and all those who are watching, bring them out. That anointing is coming on you now. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. From the front to the back. In the name of Jesus, I release you to the ministry of men. I release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Take that grace. You will never be the same. Never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus i'm still praying now listen please don't miss the miracle service but i'm seeing chains chains that are breaking from hands right now please bring them out in the name of jesus i declare by the spirit of god listen I'm going to pray for you and if God be God every chain that has held you down ah. atmosphere shift now change be broke break now Holy Help them please help them whether you're an usher or not help them so they don't enjoy themselves I must first say I must be shift now Abarota Shalanda Siata Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah can i prophesy to you ma'am please look at me i'm seeing an anointing on you a very great anointing one the grace of an intercessor i'm seeing that grace coming on you number two the lord is saying i'm bringing restoration to you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i prophesy in the name that is above all names let there be restoration right now please bring them out we're praying 
you will never be the same please whether or not you are an usher just make sure be your brother's keeper let no one enjoy himself we're just two three minutes and we're done this gentleman on suit careful careful don't what do you do you are a man of god does there's no mic here oh. yes sir where in peterborough sir in peterborough your church no sir please help us with the kali sala brandis kabushi alaka egregusias kabarushi nantas kade shalato zaziata hapa gredosia seketebala stand up my friend come it's time for your life to change i relieve you step into a new dimension of grace never be the same in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands towards all of you carry grace now carry grace now new dimensions new levels in the spirit in the mighty name of jesus overflow overflow stretch your hands in the name of jesus all those watching online and the overflow please you don't have to come out in the name of jesus i declare let the power of the holy ghost turn your life now fresh hunger for spiritual things new dimension in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah now please listen please accept you are called out you can go back to your seat god is going to touch you anyway well please don't miss tomorrow i want to share with you a mystery tomorrow and then i will prophesy the, the two lift gates of this nation must be open for your destiny hallelujah i want to pray for you i don't know what has destroyed your spiritual hunger your hunger for the things of god your hunger for the word your hunger for prayer but i stretch my hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god let the grace for intimacy with the holy ghost may that grace come upon you right now in the name of jesus hunger for prayer hunger for fasting In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. North London. North London. Who is from there? Hold on, please. North London. Madam, where are you from? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean here. North London. Come. You're a Nigerian, but you what? Okay, you live in UK. Hold my hands. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will turn things around? What do you do, ma? You walk, uh, what am I seeing you do it? Um, please don't be offended, trash. Trash. I work in a hospital. Hospital, oh, you, a lab. That's okay. I, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I lay my hands and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, new dimension. Amen. Help her, help her, new dimension in the name of Jesus. Now, please listen. If you are in business here, lift your hands. It's time to shift you to a new level by the Spirit. Father, I pray you honor my words when I pray. I declare by the spirit of grace standing in faith with your pastor the angel and the prophet over this house I decree and declare step into a new dimension the Lord is restoring hunger for spiritual things this is what the Lord is telling me some of you 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 were not like this you started with God with prayer with fasting with fire but something has eaten up your appetite like the hair of samson i command restoration in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of god hallelujah now listen please listen we're wrapping up i want to pray for you 
in the name of Jesus every challenge you left at home to come here please believe please believe I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare that between now and tomorrow strange testimonies I release it by the power of the Holy Ghost that we will take strange testimonies here tomorrow go and meet prepared blessings go and meet strange miracles hear me I'm speaking to you people who have forgotten you for many years in this city and around the world I compel remembrance I open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and finally I pray for you please listen The Spirit of God is telling me that he's bringing the miracle of documents, papers. This is happening to many people, like your paper. I don't know whether that means your paper for residency or something like that. In the name of Jesus, I don't care what the limitations are. I veto it by the power of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord my God honor this word over your life. In the name of Jesus wave your hands give Jesus praise give Jesus praise as you return back to your seat rejoicing give Jesus praise give Jesus praise give Jesus praise give Jesus praise